It's prison kitchen time, y'all. I'm gonna be following a recipe that they follow strictly in prison. I learned this from a friend of mine who was in prison, which I can't name because for security reasons, I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble, but let's just say they were pretty high up in the mob. Yeah, I know people. You don't wanna mess with me. We're making the prison tamale today. And you're probably wondering, how do you get a tamale in prison? Well, you don't. The food in prison kinda sucks. Here it is, uh, yeah. I wouldn't wanna eat that. But if you do have some sort of money flow coming to you in prison, you could buy commissary. And these commissary items are pretty good. You know, you have hot Cheetos, you got ramen, you got a whole list of things. So today, what we're gonna need to create a prison tamale are pickles, nacho cheese, some ramen, some Fritos, hot Cheetos, and some jerky sticks. The first thing we need to do is crush up some ramen and put it in a separate little Ziploc bag. The next thing we're gonna need to do is measure out two cups of hot Cheetos. Add that to a totally separate bag. And then we wanna measure out one cup of Fritos. Add that to the same bag. And now we wanna crush these up and turn it into dust. But be careful, you don't wanna puncture the bag because that's gonna affect you later. Crush it up real nice. Now we need to add some hot water to our ramen. Usually in prison, they're heating this water up with a toenail clipper and two wires, but hey, we're not actually in prison, we're just trying the recipe, so I'm gonna use some hot tap water. So we want this to cook up nice, so let's roll this up, let it get soft and delicious. What we wanna do is we wanna grab our dust. Check this out. I dusted this as much as possible. It looks like so good. You can literally put this on your burger, on your sandwiches. This would probably be a very good spread. Mac and cheese. It would go nuts on basically anything, but we're gonna put ours on a tamale. So little bits of water at a time and we're gonna keep mashing it together. I can't tell you there's too much nutrients on this tamale, but hey. I did the math, I think there's 2,200 calories in this meal we're about to eat. Wow, that's like eating like Taco Bell. So the outside of a tamale is called masa. So basically that's what we made here with hot Cheetos. We made hot Cheetos and Fritos masa. It's pretty interesting, right? You learn something new every day. So now that we have the outside, the masa, we need to make the inside, la casa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know what the inside's called. We're just gonna make the inside of the tamale, all right? Most tamales are made out of chicken or they're made out of beef. Not ours. Ours is made out of beef jerky and some pickles. And look, it even says it's Make-A-Wish on it. Shout out to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Let's make every child's wish come true. So go donate if you can and you are able to. All right, let's start chopping. You gotta get these into nice, fine little pieces. Chop it up. Ooh, that looks nutritious, doesn't it? Mm. How do you even make beef jerky? Oh my God. I think they I, take cow penises and cut it up. That makes sense. I have the same size as a cow penis. In prison, guys, you can't choose to eat good parts of the beef. You're eating beef jerky. That's as good as it gets. And honestly, I can do it. I can survive on beef jerky. I'm a big beef jerky guy. So now let's check on our ramen. It looks like it is cooked pretty well. There is some excess water in here, so let's try to dump that out without losing any of our ramen because this is all commissary. We can't afford any more ramen. So let's add our pickles and our meats to our ramen now. It's just we're going by hand here. Add it in there. And then we're gonna add some nacho cheese to the mix. It's gonna hold it all together. Mm, I'm excited. This is probably the, the most delicious part of this whole meal, even though I'm lactose intolerant, guys. I'm like that one guy who's lactose intolerant but still eats dairy. I can't control myself and I can't control my farts after this. Ask my mom. They're crazy, right mom? Extremely. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Get your merch, BrennanTaylor.com. All right, here we go. How long have we had this cheese? I just bought it. Oh, okay, because it looks a little funky. Yeah, it kind of did, but I wasn't going to say anything. Uh, that's prison cheese for you. Here we go. Add a little bit in there. Oh, oh. Mix that son of a gun up. Look, you gotta train your eyes to believe that this is just a tamale. And hey, it'll get you through your sentence, right? It better. We're getting to the final steps. Now let's start flattening out our masa inside the bag. Make it as flat as we can, and then we're gonna cut it out of there. Look at that, oof. Flatten it out as best as you can. I know it's a little messy, but you gotta get your hands and fingers in there to get this right. So flatten it all out. 
Oh my god, look how oily that is. That's what you guys put in your system when you're eating hot Cheetos. That's what I put in my system when I'm eating hot Cheetos. Ah! Now comes the fun part. Let's add our ramen, cheese, jerky, pickle mix onto our hot Cheeto Frito mix, and then we'll roll it up. It might almost look like a burrito, but look, we're doing the best we can here, okay? So let's try this. We're gonna have to use the, oh my God, look at, oh my God, hold on. But as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters, wow! Kinda looks like a taco, and it kinda looks like a burrito, but at the end of the day, that's a tamale, okay? And I'm pretty proud of my prison tamale. So I'm gonna top it off with just a little bit extra cheese, because you know what? I'm lactose intolerant, and if I'm going down, I'm going down hard. Not too bad, it kinda looks nice. I kinda like it. Let's grab a fork and let's try it now. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. And I'm starving, so. Here we go. First bite, let's try it. I mean look. Unless the prisoners have amazing imaginations, I can't really tell what about this reminds them of a tamale. But I'm not gonna say that it's bad either because it's, it's kind of all right, you know? Like, look, if I'm serving a life sentence and homie down at C Block prepares something like this, man, I will kill for it. Because <laughs> I will. I don't give a damn. If I'm a life sentence, I'm gonna kill for this, okay? I thought you were gonna do the Bella Hadid meme. Homie can, like, get it. This is prison, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally put yourself in prison, all right? Know the shit Drop you've been eating. Soap. All right, not that part of prison, okay? okay? But mentally put yourself, you're locked in there, you've been eating some real crappy food all your life, and then you get this. Open up. Do the airplane. Uh, big cock. It's pretty good. It's not bad! You could definitely make it gourmet, but for like, for prisoners, it's pretty good. Right, like you gotta think. Like, they're literally eating probably food with no seasoning at all. Yeah. Normally, so like yeah. having something like this is a real It is very bland though, and like, oh, <clears throat> a little heat. It's not Cheetos for you. I mostly taste the Fritos. I would have rather had more Cheetos or a different type of chip instead of Fritos, right. like Doritos or oh, Yeah, Doritos anything. would have been dank. Yeah. But we're working with what we can at commissary. Yeah. It always makes you go in for the idea. second bite. It has like some kind of a dictin. A what? A dick it better not have what no the dick fuck? in there. No dick in there, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Too much wine. Look at she likes it. She's in. Kinda low-key good. Oh my god. But look, let's not get too into the tamale because now it's dessert time. Let's make some brittle, shall we? The ingredients you're gonna need for this prison brittle are peanut butter, peanuts, caramel candy, and oatmeal. Our first step, open up all our caramel candy in a microwavable safe bowl. Let's add it to the microwave. I don't really know for how long. Let's just keep doing it until it's melted. In the meantime, let's start smashing our nuts, shall we? Let's check it out and we can stir it up a little bit. Oh, yes. Check this out. Stir it up, mix it up a bit. We're gonna put it back in there for another 45 seconds just to really make sure it's all melted. Sounds like it's ready. So that's probably definitely ready. The next thing we need to do when we're making our brittle is add three scoops of peanut butter. Look at that. That's probably two, I would say. One more. That's probably four, but maybe, you know what? Maybe one more. Huh? One more, all right. We love peanut butter. Here we go. Add that in there and mix it around. It smells like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Throw that back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Mix this together a little. Oh my God, I spoke too soon. That looks incredible. Okay. So now we're gonna add in our other concoctions. We're gonna add in our peanuts to the mix. Oh, that's thick. You can tell, look at the peanut butter, it's so thick. Next, we're gonna add in our oatmeal. You gotta make sure it's brown sugar, because you need that extra sugar. We need the sugar here. We're working with the commissary. This is all the little amp we're gonna get for the day. Mix it up, mix it up. Okay, so now it's time to lay this on some parchment paper. Again, if you're in prison, you're probably just using regular paper that you'd write a letter on or something like that. But hey, we're not in prison, so we're gonna use parchment paper. And be careful, this is hot. So hot that it could probably melt your skin off, so I'm gonna wear this glove. It's a mitten. I'm gonna use this mitt. That looks incredible. Okay, 
And now what we need to do is we need to completely flatten this out before it cools. So I'm gonna use another piece of parchment paper to put on top. Again, if you're in prison, just use whatever you got. Ooh, that is hot. Flatten it out. You can even use a water bottle as a roller because you don't have rollers in prison. But hey, you do have water bottles, I'm assuming, or you have something kind of with a roll to it. Now it's time for the reveal. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh my God, yo. If you made that in prison, that is absolutely out of this world, but it's not done yet. Now we're gonna top it off with our other packet of crunched peanuts. And if you're in prison and you got this on commissary, like you spent some good money on this. So if you save this for last, you're being a smart prisoner yeah. now. Those are the roasted ones. You gotta, oh, so you gotta, gotta ball out. You're balling out here. Look at this, we're gonna make it rain on this. I'm gonna throw the parchment back on it one more time just to smash them in there so that they don't just all fall off. Look at that. Oh That's my what I'm talking God. About. Good Lord, okay. So when you're in prison, you're probably gonna be using your ID card to cut this up. Although I'm not in prison and I don't wanna dirty up one of my credit cards, and plus those things are pretty dirty right now because of COVID, I'm just gonna use a clean knife. Now we wanna let our brittle cool and harden. If you're in prison, you're probably gonna wanna leave it by the window so it can cool during winter if this is when you're making it. For us, we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator. Sorry if you're a prisoner and you're watching this and you don't have these luxuries. An hour later and this is ready, guys. Check this out. Wow. It literally looks like you opened up some sort of candy. It looks so good, but let's see how it tastes. Oh God. It's like perfect. Tasty, you gotta think. There is raw oatmeal in here. Like there's no water that like soaked up the oatmeal at all. So it's like raw, isn't that what you call it? <laughs> it's dry, dry oatmeal. So let's try it. Oh my, what? That crunch. For just being in there for literally an hour, or maybe even less, this is something that I will not throw away after. Maybe even put it in bags and sell it as merch on brennantaylor.com because, whoa! If you're serving time and you take a bite of something like this, man, throw 50 extra years in the sentence. It doesn't even matter at this point. This is so good. I was thinking I'm gonna bite into it, eat some like uncooked oatmeal and really just think about all how powdery it was and stuff, but it's not like that at all. This is like authentic brittle and the fact that you made it out of just some candy, peanut butter and some peanuts, I'm actually pretty impressed. Mmm. It's got the perfect crunch. Mmm. It's like a, like a, a dessert chip. It's like a dessert cookie chip. Mmm. It's like I want it to get stuck in my teeth so I can taste it later. But it doesn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? That wraps up this video, guys. If you ever end up in jail, you know I got your back with some of these recipes. Just remember them. Watch this video again because you never know in the state of the world that we're in now what could happen next. So make sure you're prepared. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you keep streaming Girl Next Door. We're at 99,000 streams. That is 1,000 streams away from 100,000. Let's keep going. Let's run the numbers up. Pick up some merch, brennantaylor.com. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time I post. Peace. I'm falling for the girl next door. Been through hell and back, that's why she don't get attached. I'm falling for the girl next door. I'm falling for the girl next door. Everybody want a bad bitch, I already had it.